Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Fifth Year Show. We are finally back after... This is the first episode of the new year, so we are at conference right now. We're in the hotel um, shooting. We're going to be doing this recap show basically um, every night. Um, we just got done with finals. We just ate uh, a, a nice dinner from uh, Brooklyn's mom, Shelly, and um, and Ryan's mom and Ryan's dad too, right? Was that your dad? Yeah. Um, helping out. So um, we really appreciate them helping us out tonight and all the parents are going to help us out later this week. But um, great first day today. Um, going from the morning and into the finals tonight. Um, we had a bunch of team records get broken tonight. Um, we had a bunch of people go to finals um, from their morning swims. Got to my right, um, got on the podium in the 200 IM um, with the third place, which was a fantastic swim. And we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, Tony, how do you feel like this first day went? I know Tony's voice is like almost gone because he was amped the whole day. So how do you think this first day went? Yeah, it was it was good. I always try to pace myself a little bit, but we got we had some really close relays and re- relays that were really close with the national cuts. Relays where you know we were out touching other teams. So I I pressed a little too hard on my voice, but we'll find a way to deal with that later tomorrow. But great first day. The morning session's always hard. The first day starting off, and we switched on a you know a wave of energy that was just really great. Um, a fifth gear, if you will. A fifth gear of energy, if you will, for sure. Yeah. So uh, we've got a lot of momentum rolling into day two, and you know they're really uh, they've really proved to themselves how fast they can go um, this meet. Yeah, I mean it was really hard not to get amped up for everything. So um, especially with you got two relays, two you know short relays, the two hundred medley and the two hundred freestyle relay. So. Um, but girls wise we'll start with the girls uh we had um a 50 freestyle record get broken in the 50 free in the final um just the individual 50 free um ava broke it with a 238 i think 2389 mm-hmm. 2389 um which was awesome that broke Franzi's record um that she set with a 2399 so a pretty big drop there and um right after that we went into the 200 freestyle relay and serena led that off and she broke ava's record with a 23779 79 79 so that was pretty awesome a little ava had it for about what 15 minutes <laughs> 15 30, 20 yeah, minutes buddy. and then uh and then it was uh broken again so that i mean that's that's awesome to see and and they just missed uh the national cut by uh, 0.25, I think it was. So they're going to try to swim that later on this week, and uh, we're going to try to get that cut, and I think we can. Um, 23.83, Ava. 23.83 for Ava, okay. Yeah, so that re- that 200 freestyle relay was really fun um, closing out because <clears throat> we had the three at one time school record holders in the 50 freestyle. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah, it was awesome, and we had – in the relay, uh, we had – they were all 23, uh, correct? They were all 23 in the relay. Um, and Kate uh, uh, doing the anchor anchor leg with a 23-3, so closing it out really well. Breaking that, breaking that team record just for the relay, and then they also broke the team record in the 200 medley, mm-hmm. which was um, Franzi, Zara, Kristen, and Ava. Yep. And Ava on that freestyle leg was twenty three two, and um, we had some really fast splits. I know, I know yeah. Kristen was five twenty five mid twenty five three, yeah. uh, Zara twenty twenty eight four twenty eight four, and then Franzi with a twenty six. Yep, twenty six eight. I think it was her first time under twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of, they smashed that one. I I think they kind of smashed that uh, that school record. That was a pretty easy one, but. Um, they went really fast. They look really good. But um, hopefully, we're carrying that momentum with the girls into the into more relays and the more individual events um, the next few days. Um, this guy to my right, Gim, absolutely killed it this morning. Was the second seed in the two IM. Um, looked crazy fast. Came back. Um, was just mashing his last fifty freestyle in the two hundred IM, going twenty five five. I think. 
or 25-6. Oh but coming in second looked best he's ever looked uh, by far. I mean, the dude scaring us a little bit during the week because mm-hmm. he's like, he'd I get, get so done. Like, I feel like crap. And yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. Paper, I guess. And then he showed up yesterday and he got out of the warm up and he's like, man, I feel so good right now. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> and I said, tomorrow I'm going to feel even better. Yeah. yeah. And he, uh, he took that 200 IM out the way he needed to. And he, he, he's, I think he's sitting around 11th right now. He's probably going to make that national, that national, uh, uh, get that spot for uh, NCAA, so um, I think it will. I think it was pretty solid in there. But um, um, went back for finals. Started off not the two IM yet. Had to do the two hundred medley relay. Out, did best split in your backstroke. Yeah. Um, like half a second, something like that. By half a second. Yeah. Um, and then we had uh, Austin jump in for the breaststroke really awesome split from austin and then we had john doing his butterfly in 21 mm-hmm. something 21 5 and then aiden closing it out 21 4 21 yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you don't if you short him he's gonna yeah. let you know about it but mm-hmm. uh and then aiden closing it out and beating s and t and lindenwood which was awesome that was great the S and T guy was not happy when we beat him. He, uh, you looked down the pool and he was pretty frustrated. But always nice to beat those guys, and then um, ended up beating them in the two hundred free relay as well. Yeah, I feel like we've always been a little bit of underdogs against those big teams like oh, Dingle yeah. in the Wood and S and T. Yeah, and I would say just like the Bengals, like mm-hmm. they always been underdogs, and now at the Super Bowl. <laughs> We're still not with the big dogs like yeah, McKendry uh, or Indy, but Bengals still aren't Patrick Mahomes. Uh-huh. Uh, I, the, the the Bengals well, though, we're different. Yeah, the Bengal, we're we're I don't know for I don't know if Bengals would be a good analogy just because the Bengals are were really bad for yeah. a long time. <laughs> We've been there. We're there. We've just hit this next level now. So, um, but got to the 200 IM final. Um, Ian swam in the C final. He did really well. He went a best time by a couple seconds. Mm-hmm. And and then we got to Gim's A final. And, like, Tony and I talk about this. Like, we start getting nauseous because we're just, like, you get so nervous for the guy that's swimming. And you know he's going to do good. Mm-hmm. First of all, Gim got up on the wrong – he was in the wrong lane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know it, what happened there. But he was like, so locked in. People were like trying to tell him to go to six like, and he wasn't acknowledging them at all. They physically restrain him <laughs> to yeah. get him over to his proper lane. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, he got he, he eventually got to the right lane. But um, going into the breaststroke, he had the lead. And I'm like, holy crap, he's actually going to win this thing. Um, locked up just a little bit at the end in the freestyle. Um, but still came home with that podium, which is huge. And yeah, I mean, how do you feel getting on the podium? I mean, for, for our team, and I mean, it's great. I'm, I've never been in a conference podium. That's my first time. I it's it was really close my freshman year. Yeah, I the believe, two, two, back. two back. Yeah, but um, I wanted to risk a little bit more this afternoon than this morning in the fly and the back, and it didn't pay it off at the end with the freestyle because I struggled a little, a little bit a little bit yeah. more. But I'm still really happy with the time I got and can't complain at all. And it's just the first day, so we got three more days. Yeah, and we and it. we when you swim this at nationals too, I think mm-hmm. you know you're gonna be amped up for that. Yeah, too. I think you're gonna swim that really I'm excited. well. Um, but the other thing we've got a thing going with Gim is he's got this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it. This chain. Um, he's got this chain. It's like at least two thousand dollars. Yeah, like twenty five <laughs> bucks probably. Diamond encrusted. <laughs> yeah, it's crusted. But it's the it's the necklace of power. Mm-hmm. Um, we when he swims, I either Tony and I put it on, um, and then we got to give that back. We restore the power, uh-huh. and then we give it back to him. Then he uses it all up. It's but all, uh, it's all mental, really. But, <laughs> but it's working. It's we working. Hey, it's you working find something. Good. Every team finds something uh-huh. to latch on to, and I think that's what we need to do. But, I agree. Um, yeah, super proud of this guy right here. Super proud of the whole team. Um, Tony, what do you think? I, I, I asked you during the meet. We haven't been on the podium in a while um, with the swimmers. So, what does that mean to the program um, going forward? Yeah, it's uh especially in our conference being top three is 
it extremely tough. Yeah. I, the last person to do it was Patrick Galinsky in the 4 a.m. Um, he had a great 4 a.m. to get there. I think that was in 2020. Uh, Merrill Visser um, before him in the in the thousand freestyle. So the third guy to make the podium since I've been here and being in the fastest conference in division two um, to be able to make the podium is is definitely. A, a big honor I think it means a lot for the program and, mm -hmm. and really where we're trying to go to as well you know we're looking f we've been building out our team to try to just compete with our conference and if you compete with our conference at that level um, that you know we were able to do tonight you know we're, we're starting to raise ourselves in the national rankings too so you know a lot of other schools and a lot of other uh, swimmers I think have to really just you know they have to focus on you know just racing the clock and they're they're just trying to go certain times with our conferences it's as simple as just racing the people that are in the pool and mm -hmm. trying to rise to the level of the competition of the meet and th those results will come just from the energy of the meet and just from you know the level of competition we have so yeah. it makes it fun you don't you're not stressed out about the board you're not stressed yeah. out about you know your paces it's just racing the people around you yeah and you know in this conference it, like you said if you beat somebody that's fast it's gonna be a good time there ain't no way it's gonna be a bad time so um yeah a lot of a lot of fast swimming from other teams too but i think a lot of people took notice of us today just uh i mean that was one of our best sessions so um a lot of people got to pay pay attention to us more so um, um we're gonna try to carry this momentum in tomorrow and uh, same time in the morning and see if we can carry that over into finals tomorrow. This guy, he's got trying to get that two back record from John. Yeah, uh, John's a little scared right now. <laughs> I mean, rightfully <laughs> so, me. though. Um, but uh, what, are, what are you looking forward to, Gim, as far as besides the 200 back? Anything? I mean, tomorrow I got the 200 free that <clears throat> I swam in McHenry like three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I really went I went best time in season I believe and I've been feeling great on the freestyle lately so I'm gonna go out there and crush it and yeah the 100 back and the 400 free really are two races I really want to swim now keep carrying the momentum you know yeah. in the whole conference yeah all right guys well um, we will be back tomorrow night um, after the final session we'll have one of these every night and uh, hopefully we've got some, well, I'm going to say I know we'll have some good news tomorrow. So um, we'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, keep it in fifth gear and keep going fast.